there are doctors saying one thing, the ADA saying another thing. You've got health influencers, you've got books, you've got podcasts, everyone, there's wars going on. And people get very confused and it makes them doubt their choices, which is a huge cognitive overload. People are afraid to eat a lot of different things. And a real message is like, you don't actually need to trust anyone but yourself. But you do need to understand how to interpret what your body is telling you. And you can do that actually very simply in this modern age with two things. One is analog. One is technological. Analog is like, learn to interpret your symptoms. How do I feel? <laughs> how do I feel? And in this crazy distraction industrial complex of our modern world where we've just put productivity and con you know consumerism at the top, like we are all so damn busy that people just don't even have a second to sit and just hear their bodies talking to them all the time through their symptoms. So step one, a point of the book is just like slow down, understand this multidimensional matrix that we're all living in and buying into and realize that like a big part of your health journey is actually just like doing things in the world and then listening to how your body is feeling, looking, you know, what is the experience? Step two is obviously technological, which is like in the past five years, we have these trends converging that are incredibly wonderful. We have direct to consumer lab testing, things like Function Health and Inside Tracker and others. We've got bio wearables like continuous glucose monitors and more coming down the pipeline. And then we've got, of course, the other wearables, the the auras, the whoops, the, the Fitbits, all these things that can give us these real-time feedback. And so if we can learn to understand the numbers and then the subjective experience and then try things on and just be able to prove to ourselves, like, is it working or not? We can cut through all the confusing noise that keeps us spinning and feeling paralyzed. And so I, I actually think for so many of our Levels members, it has cut through the stress to actually get them to a place of feeling a lot of ease with, hey, yeah, I, I can eat this and I can take a walk afterwards. Or like, I know that if I put some more fiber on this, like it'll help. And so that's, I think reducing the cognitive overhead is actually the end result.